Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Frank Torin. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Wasteland 3 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So if you guys recall, last episode, we left off in the bazaar. And you know, I was thinking about it, guys. Like, there's a whole, like, host of missions there. And sorry about the vehicles going by. It is that time. It's uh, around the time everybody's coming home from work. Going out and getting dinner and stuff. Uh, there's going to be a lot of vehicles driving by today. Uh, but, uh... I was thinking, you know, in the bazaar, you know, we were, we were selling our stuff, and there's, like, a bunch of missions there. There's a, obviously some type of situation going on there that we saw from the last episode. And so that's, like, you know, getting ourselves into, like, a whole new, you know, set jar of... Jar of pickles. Yeah, whole new jar of pickles. <laughs> and we haven't ate the first two damn jars of pickles yet. And so I was thinking that we should probably, like, do some of this stuff we need to do first, guys. Uh, first of all, I'd like to return to our base at some point. We've never returned back to the base and then secondly, uh, we, we're on a mission right now and uh, with the refugees, and we haven't actually completed this yet. So I think we're going to leave the bazaar for a different time, guys. Uh, it's just it's just too much. So we we're driving over there, and we're going to do all this off-camera so that we could just start out in downtown Colorado Springs and talk to, to Mama Kata. But then we had one of these random events happen, which I don't know that we've had one of these happen yet. So yeah, we got one of these these random events, and we haven't had any of these. I think these are the ones where the, the survival skill can help you avoid them. Uh, but yeah, something about robots. Robots are watching while one of them repairs another. They seem intent on the procedure and haven't noticed us yet. So we have the choice to do the sneaky shit and sneak up on them. Survival for and avoid them. So that's what the survival skill lets you do. It allows you to avoid these situations. I was wondering what that was good for. Uh, it gives you extra damage against like monsters and, and something else. Like beast animals, I think. Uh, animals and, and mutants, I think, is that exactly what it says. So you get the damage bonus for that, but the main thing is because it allows you to avoid these world map uh, encounters if you want to. You can also just attempt to, you have a very small chance to escape, or you can just straight up attack them. Uh, so, which one do you want to do, Jinx? We can just straight up avoid them, or we can do the sneaky shit? I don't know, because what kind of robots are we talking? Are we talking big robots? Little robots? <laughs> robots are, are challenging. Uh, so, you know, because a lot of your, your, small arms, your small arms fire doesn't doesn't do very much damage to him, so you gotta use like explosives or the, the heavier guns. So I think we should just avoid him. Yeah. What's the point of getting that survival skill if you're not gonna avoid him? So using the Lady Land, you keep out of sight of the robots as you back away and drive off. So even though we didn't do the battle, guys, I felt like it was important to like show that since we haven't shown it yet. Oh, was... there's loot back there. Was there? That glowy thing. The glowy red thing on the left. Down here? Yeah, just oh. boxes. Okay. So Jinx has been playing, I don't know if we mentioned this before, but Jinx has been playing her own little campaign that she started. I have to stay behind where I'm right here. Yeah, I told Jinx she's not allowed to, to go ahead <laughs> of us. Because I feel like, I feel like our series are always best when we're coming into it blind. Like, not so blind that we don't know how to play and we suck. Yeah. But like <laughs> blind as in like we don't know what to expect. And typically what always ends up happening, where is that one place you were telling me about? I'll continue what I'm saying here in a minute. The, the hoons. Yeah, we could also go to the hoon. Yeah, I guess that would be. Yeah, we could stop by there. She Jinx said that she went here on hers and there was loot. There's goodies. Goodies. So I think we're going to go there real quick, guys. We didn't even touch that deer. He just blew up on his own. <laughs> but I feel like whenever we like have played a story mission or played a game a lot, what we tend to end up doing is we go more into like explaining in our commentary we, yeah. we we spend more time explaining stuff rather than reacting mm -hmm. to things i just feel like our commentary is a little bit more better it's not as fun it might be more informational but that's mm -hmm. not really what we're good at mm -hmm. yeah if i got it we're good at entertaining <laughs> <laughs> if you like our videos and find them entertaining okay so that was useless yeah, if you find our videos entertaining, some people would disagree with that claim that we're entertaining at all. I just didn't want one of those mean girls <laughs> moments like, oh, you think you're funny? <laughs> uh, where are we going? Up, up here? The, the Jinx said there's some good loot here. We got told by a couple people in the comments uh, before that even if you don't do that, that you should come here and, and get the loot that's here. And face the consequences of your actions. Mm -hmm. See all those dead characters. Not giving two shits about refugees. Well, I mean... I mean, I guess they weren't refugees. No, they're they were just, just a family out here on a ranch. 
Oh, so you made the same decision we did? Yeah. And went and I just felt got like the power I had armor. to. Like, duty first. I think that makes, like, the most sense uh, as far as, like, what... I mean, but really, you can make any option. Uh, if you, you want to be, like, the do-gooder ranger who's, like, always trying to help people and do your best to make the world a better place. Like, I'm trying to get supplies for my people back in Arizona. I don't want to lose sight of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, with the way you played, like, Commander Shepard in Mass Effect. <laughs> oh, my character's name is Shepard. Yeah, Jinx <laughs> named her character after Shepard. I forgot that. Uh, her, one, of her, one of her main characters. I have a healer named Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx and I really like Bioware games, if you didn't know. I'm missing them. Mm-hmm. We got a skill book to increase automatic weapons. Okay, nice. And some bear. Mm-hmm. Can't forget bear. A lot of dead people. So many dead people. Uh -huh. So yeah, we're just going to loot this place real quick before we continue back on to uh, going to downtown Colorado Springs to turn in that mission or, or continue mission. Well, this place is like all burned down and shit. Yeah, they really did a number on this place. But the way Jinx played her shepherd, uh, we don't have the toast to repair, huh? Reapers, reapers, reapers. <laughs> Yeah, Jinx's character, like, she didn't romance anybody. She never knew love. Never knew love. <laughs> and all she did was just focus on the Reapers. That was, like, her only concern, her femship. I didn't play that way. <laughs> <laughs> you romanced everybody, didn't you? Uh, no. No. He's a player. I didn't romance everybody. <laughs> uh, in the first one, I romanced Ashley, and I regretted it. Because that, that character is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> She's a terrible character. She's annoying as hell. I romanced her and regretted it. Although I'm glad that I, I had her survive when you get to choose in the first Mass Effect 2 survives. Oh, God. Over whatever that other guy's name I don't even was. I remember his name. I tried to get rid of him. Jinx chose him to survive. And so I got to watch, because I watched Jinx play and she watched me play. We, we do this, what we're doing here on the channel. We were doing this long before we ever started yeah. this fucking channel, guys. <laughs> Just watching each other play games and talking, Same commenting about. Shit. Yep. I'm not finding a lot of loot here, guys. I guess the house did burn down. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, but yeah. Oh, we got another one of those, those He's hounds. Friendly. The the waste wolf. You touch him. Yeah, I was just saying you could <laughs> could tame him instead of your bunny. Are you set on keeping yeah, bunny? Yeah, I think I need um the animal charm five mm. or animal whisper. Oh, okay, so you're just not high enough. Can we go up this ladder here? No, nah, it doesn't look like you can't go up there. Alright, so I think the last way to go is up this path here. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I am glad that I, I chose to keep Ashley alive, because whatever the other guy's name is, he's even more annoying than Ashley is. I found a grave. He took everything, so I chose nothing. So yeah, I, I romanced her. I don't, I don't think there's anything else to get here. Yeah, I feel like we missed something. Yeah, because you were saying there was, uh, there was more. I mean, the skill book is nice. There's a body out here that you could loot. I, I looted that one body and got the oh. skill book from it. Yeah, I feel like we might be missing something, but I don't know where where it could be. I might just have to leave because Jinx found, said know. that she found some some weapon upgrades. Yeah. So a couple good weapon upgrades here. I know if you fix the toaster, you get something that's worth like a thousand gold or thousand dollars. Yeah, we don't have the toaster repair. Nobody has that. So yeah, probably been useful to get somebody that skill. I know the toaster repair is not as critical though as it was in like previous games. Apparently, that's what I heard from people from reviews who have played the entire game. Yeah, I think that's everything, guys. Yeah, I guess we missed something somewhere. Uh, but yeah, and then the second game I romanced Miranda or something. Is that her name? Yeah. The one who works for the elusive man. I romanced her. And then in the third game. I don't think you can have a new romance. I think you're just like continuing your your old romances, or you can if you, you want to. You can't make a new romance. I don't think so. Not in the third game. No, I could be wrong though. I came close to romancing Garrus, but we were just too good of friends, <laughs> and he was in love with another. Was he? Yeah. Who was he in love with? Well, he tells you a story about mm -hmm. this other warrior that he's in love with. Mm. I told him he should go pursue that if we all make it out of this. I know a lot of people uh, romance Gareth with their their feminine shepherd. Yeah. Their female shepherd. I know he's a much beloved romance option. If you like it freaky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you can romance all the, the aliens. I played 
a second playthrough with another character and I did different romance options because I wanted to see all the different options. So like I romanced uh, the Asari woman. What's her name? Liara? I think so. Something like that? I don't know. I remember it's her in Mass Effect 1 and in Mass Effect 2 I did uh, Jack. See? Which, you how? No, but that was two different <laughs> characters, Jinx. Oh, gotcha. Alright, so... This is in Russian. The Russians. Right, so I think we need to go this way to go back to Colorado Springs downtown. I was trying to learn Russian for a time. I used to know a little bit. I you guys didn't know I have Russian family on my father's side. It's from the Soviet Union. When I worked for Walmart, you got Rosetta Stone for free. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's cool. And so Jinx was going to learn Russian. And then I quit Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't really. Because we moved far, far away. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, Jinx worked at Walmart while I was going to college. Yeah. Yep. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, she worked at Walmart for years, guys. Too many years. Too many years. <laughs> Such a shitty job. Uh, and then, you know, I got my degree, and then we're like, oh, life is going to be so much better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's uh, cute. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go back to old young Praetorian and Jinx and just laugh at them in their face. And then whisper, <laughs> do you do? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do. <laughs> I'd go back. If we could go back. Let's see. I started college in what, like 2012 or something? 2011. Yeah. 2011 is when I started school. Graduated in 2015. Uh, so I was a, old, a lot older than, than all my classmates. With a baby. With a baby. Or two kids. Yeah, we had two kids. Yeah, had a toddler and a baby. Yeah, my freshman year. I was like, well, like maybe six weeks in when our son was born. Mm -hmm. I was like I was six weeks into my freshman year when, when our youngest was born. And so that was crazy, going to school while, while being a father and, yeah, and all I that good stuff. Yeah, I might have been working, but you were trying to do homework with a screaming baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was taking care of the kids at home since I quit my job so I could go to focus on school. Uh, because I got paid to go to school. I actually made more money going to school <laughs> than Jinx made working at Walmart. <laughs> That tells you how much Walmart pays. Yeah. yeah, because I had the GI Bill from you know being a veteran. Uh, so they give you, they pay you money. And then plus I had like all the grants and scholarships and stuff because I did really being well. Smart. Yeah, because I did pretty well in school. Uh, so I think this is Mama Carter. Yep. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, how so we'll talk to her. From Mama Carter. Maybe so. Where are those refugees now? Because you were there, and I wasn't. If you see people suffering, you help them out. Doesn't matter whose responsibility they are. You're like all the other shitbags in this town. Hundreds of desperate people fleeing for their lives, being killed and enslaved by the gangs, and the folks here want to turn them away. Well, I expect them to have a goddamn heart and save those people's lives. We can worry about feeding everybody later, one thing at a time. Why don't you let us deal with these no-good law keepers, Mama? If they don't walk out of this camp, nobody will be the wiser. And you can keep helping the refugees. Alright, so we have a couple options here, guys. You just straight up attack him. Like, fine, let's see what you got, kid. I think Bobby's <laughs> got a mouth on him. You can say, let's all just walk away and forget this whole thing. Are we going to rest her? Uh, which, you know, we're going to do our job here. And if we're going to continue with the route we're going, which is to try and stop the refugees from flooding into the city, then we'd have to do this route, uh, this option. Uh, so I guess that's what we should do. We'll be consistent with our, our choices here. Uh, because, again, I, I feel like... I understand both sides of the argument when it comes to refugees or, or yeah. homeless people or just any kind of situation. It's all the same same argument. You know, it's the idea that do you help people who are in need, even if you might end up hurting everybody else? Yeah, make everyone in need. <laughs> yeah, it, it's that's the idea. You know, if you like with uh, you know uh, bringing in refugees into to a city that's already. Uh, not doing well in resources or something like that. Uh, now, of course, with this city, there's a whole bunch of people who have a lot of resources, and they could definitely share some of those. Uh, but, again, we're going down this route, so we'll do this one. Stand down, Bobby. These are the same folks who shot up the door season the Garden of the Gods. They must have killed Stenerud and his smugglers, too. 
We don't stand a chance against them. This ain't worth the lives of my boys. I'll go quietly. Copy, November 1. This is Ranger HQ. What's your status? Old Mama Cotter? A criminal? <laughs> Who would have thought? Dispatching a squad, over and out. Again, really like that feature, the arresting and then the choices on whether you want to put them in the marshal's prison or put them in your own prison. Uh, one uh, person told us in the comments they have like a prison just full of people. <laughs> <laughs> just like they should get in trouble the from over fucking up, stacking man. their prison uh, prison facilities. Uh, so yeah, you saw a little bit of uh, a reaction to, from our previous decisions where they knew that we were about it. They were not going to mess with us. Fuck you up. Yeah, they knew exactly what was going to go down if they uh, opposed us. So, yeah, I, I really like uh, RPGs like this. It just really feel the uh, the effects of your choices. So we do have to return to Gideon Rays in Broadmoor Heights. So let's go ahead and do that. What is this? Oh, he's singing. Okay. I saw that thing over his head. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing over here? He's a singer. Mm -hmm. Doing some tunes. Uh, how are you liking your your playthrough? I like it a lot. Uh, I've been. It is buggy though. Yeah, you didn't you have like a bug that required yeah. you to restart or something like that? Mm -hmm. Like a part and didn't save it or something? Yeah, I got stuck in a store. I could buy things, mm -hmm. but I couldn't leave. You couldn't leave it. <laughs> Which store? I think it was one at the base. Okay. I was like, you just couldn't leave the store menu. Yeah, I couldn't leave the store menu. None of the other buttons work except mm. for the X to buy things. <laughs> <laughs> He's forcing you to buy his yeah. crap. You will buy my wares. Like, Give I me have all your to money. Buy it all? He's holding you up. <laughs> you will buy everything this I have. This is my place. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it is. It does have bugs, guys. You, you've seen that in this series here. That you know, it's, there are some bugs that need to be worked out. I'm sure, like. You know, you play this game like a year from a release, then, you know, a lot of this stuff will kind of be dealt with, I imagine. You would hope, anyway. You'd hope, yeah. They seem to be pretty good with the patches. Yeah, it seems like they're pretty frequent. And dedicated to it. I know that the Wasteland 2, you know, got a lot of patches, some, you know, well after release of the game. So I think they'll continue working on it and improving it. And plus, it did really well, too. Wasteland 3 seemed to have sold uh, really well. Or sold really well, excuse me. All right, so I don't remember where that guy is. Do we have this quest turned on? I feel like we don't, because I'm not seeing anything being marked here. Let's go and make sure that it's on. Maybe you don't mark oh, quests. Oh, we gotta go back to Gideon? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to go back oh, to. In Broadmoor Heights. I get lost in the Broadmoor. <laughs> hmm. All right, well, let's go to the map and see if we can, we can find him on here, guys. I think he's in the church. Yeah, that's here. where he was before. Yeah, I don't know if he's still there. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll take a look. I don't know if he returned home. That's a possibility as well. I'm surprised we're not seeing like any markers, any quest markers. I hate everyone here in the Broadmoor, and I want them all to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see going that route. <laughs> so uh, let's talk to getting Rays and get our, our reward. I heard you were speaking to some people at the refugee camp. Do you have any news? Thank you. I'm glad this ended bloodlessly. You handled an impossible situation well, Rangers. At least this will give the city some breathing room. Our resources are stretched, but I think we can feed the people who are already here. For now. Such straightforward people. I know we'll get along. Now for your reward. The money is here. And you may expect the mechanics I promised you to be waiting for you when you return to your headquarters. Also, one other thing. If you have me, I'd be happy to serve the Rangers as a political advisor. Honored even. You're quite a remarkable outfit, and I'd like to help you out. Excellent. Let me get some things together, then I'll head for your HQ. Looking forward to what we can accomplish together, Rangers. I could see how it would be helpful to have, like... One of these rich dudes, you know, on our side. Why does everybody want to live with us? Yeah, everybody <laughs> wants to come live with us. Everybody's flocking to us. Like, oh, thank God. I can get <laughs> out of the springs. 
Oh, uh, I, I think he, he knows how much power and influence we're going to have, and he wants to make sure that we use that power and influence to help him. Because we're I mean, going to kill everyone. It's a political decision. We're going to bring down the patriarchy. <laughs> so, do is there any way to, like, fast travel back home? I guess we got these level ups we need to do, don't we? I suppose we can do that now. Uh, we have four characters that are currently leveled up. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and start. Uh, Praetorian, let's put something into him. I'm thinking the strength this time, though. What did I get last time? I don't remember. Awareness? I might have got coordination last time. Yeah, I think I did. I think we'll get awareness this time, guys. Get that uh, hit chance increase and then more damage with the ranged weapons. I think that'd be super useful as well. That's what I did with Guan. Well, we could also do the charisma, because, again, that experience bonus is very helpful for us. And we're the leader, so having the higher leadership range would be helpful as well. You know what? Let's go and put into charisma, guys. I think that'd be the most useful thing for Praetorian since he's, he's the leader. Uh, so with the points we have here for skills, I almost want to just go and put it all into the automatic weapons again. Just trying to increase that uh, hit chance because it seems to be like critically important. Yeah, so I think we'll do that, guys. Let's put it in the automatic weapons. I made Quan better at kissing ass. Oh, really? <laughs> He's a better kiss ass now, guys. And then we have our, our first perk uh, in a while as well. Uh, so let's go and see what we want to put it into. So the new things we got unlocked here is the double tap. The first hit just opens them up for the real kill shot. If you attack a target twice in a row with an assault rifle, the second is always a critical hit. That's useful for certain. Uh, and then we have the explosives, you know, getting the grenade... Uh, duck and cover it seems like it'd be useful with the explosive resistance it would do less damage to us which is great because praetorian likes to hide behind explosive barrels so. <laughs> he does mm -hmm. he hugs them yeah like i love you so much <laughs> yeah. so that'd be helpful uh we could also get more health as well i think we're gonna do this one the double tap guys i think having the critical hit would be pretty useful to have uh, so we'll go to get that all right so next is bear Bear. The big bear man. So we he can put such the such a monster. Yeah, he is. So we can put the last point into the strength. That always be a potential option I've here. I've been teaching him his ABCs. I think he should be more aware. <laughs> <laughs> you think he should do be more aware? Yeah. So he has a better hit chance. It also increases his his range damage by a bit as well. Uh, there's the intelligence, which. He's not the most intelligent character. And then there's coordination, though we don't get the action points until we put two points into it. So that's interesting. There's also luck. Making Bear into a lucky character. I kind of want to go with the luck, because I don't have any luck characters. I like I, the luck. Yeah, I think I'm going to do luck for I'm Bear. I'm the lucky jinx. Lucky jinx. If we only had actual luck in our real life... <laughs> We I feel like know. I'm just lucky enough. Like, I look at myself like, oh, you're so unlucky. But when I look at, like, the big picture, I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? Things could have been worse. They could be. <laughs> they could be worse. Uh, so let's go and also put a point in the big gun since we have that point. All right. So let's go and get him a perk. And I'm not sure what we're going to get for him. We don't have any melee ones yet. Uh, there's the blood sport attacks with blunt weapons critically hit stunned and blind enemies Okay, uh, and then we can also get the stunning blow Which would be useful to have because then you, you really want to get that first Before you get the blood sport I think so that way you actually are able to stun enemies. So that'd be an option uh, There's also that combat one. That's really for the big guns. Those probably is not the best thing to get I don't find myself using a lot of these perk skills. Yeah, uh, that's probably not a good thing, though, Jinx. You probably no, should like, use them. I like the ones that, like, you know, are, you know. Good? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not, like, the action ones or the attacks. I think it depends on, like, some of the attacks, especially for, like, uh, some of the weapon skills, don't seem as useful because they have, like, really low hit chance. True. And, and so that's what makes them less useful in a way, but... Yeah, I think that they're they're all right. Uh, I almost want to do the handy since he uses a lot of deployables, and then this allows them to repair vehicles and robots. Or no, if you repair vehicles and robots, and it boosts their max constitution. I, I think we're gonna do this one, guys, because we kind of rely on the deployables a lot with Bear. 
Uh, so yeah, I think those would be great having them have more health and deal more damage. Mm-hmm. That'd be really useful for the turrets. There's also a ton of other deployables that I was looking at when we were in the bazaar store. A bunch of different typos. Yeah, there's like robo puppies. Mm-hmm, yeah, there's all <laughs> kinds of cool stuff that you can deploy. Mechanic seems like an incredibly useful skill. For Jinx, overall. I kind of regret having the first aid, lock picking, and animal whisper. It's a it's lot. It's damn near impossible to choose which one I should focus on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. It, it, it's good to have a support character, but I mean, like, yeah, like <laughs> you could go a little ob- overboard grief. with it. Uh, so mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is that's the case with any of these games, man. Like your first there's... playthrough, and you're mm-hmm. like, man, I wish I could redo all that. Cause... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think with the character creation, it's always kind of a a tough thing to to deal with when you're first coming into a game because they they tell you, hey, create this character and determine everything about them. And you have no idea what, like, what's going to be useful You're or like, not. These are all the things I want to be. But you know, this game's a little bit more forgiving with it because you can always like make new rangers. True, true, true. So you can always go back and, and like make a, a new ranger. Now, I, I don't know what happens with your main characters, the two that you start with. I, I assume they can die just like anybody else, but I could be wrong about that one. I'm not sure if you can replace them with made characters. I don't think you, you might not be able to like just straight up get rid of them. <laughs> You know, Sorry, you're fired. Luis. <laughs> no, not those. No, those not those characters. Those characters are a completely different thing, Jinx. Oh. You have four rangers and then two additional characters. Oh, gotcha. And so they're the two additional characters. I was talking about just the rangers. You can't replace them with rangers. You can just replace them with other uh, of those types of characters. Oh, okay. I was talking about the rangers. Breaker 1-9, this here's Dead Red calling the November Cowboys. You read me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Hmm. Maybe I'm a ranger. Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, rangers. Sorry about the clowning have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal Angie, otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Huh. Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. Heaven, darling. The Archangel Gabriel's just bringing me another pina colada. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me, and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to, locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him, but when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite. A warlord of the Eastern Plains, and one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details, but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. I don't reckon
reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me, either. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red, over and out. Okay, so the... I'm a tail. The plot <laughs> tickens. Your <laughs> thickens. So, yeah, we can, uh... Really kind of decide who we want to side with here. Uh, I feel like we would at least investigate. You know what I mean? Find out who this character is and what he has to say. I mean, but nothing he's going to say is going to surprise us. Yeah, because I already know he's a shitbag. We already know that the Patriarch's, you know, a dictator. I mean, that's not news. So, that is in... In Broadmoor. In Broadmoor Heights, I believe, is what she had said. Yeah, she said, like, something about Buchanan Park. Mm-hmm. So let me just... There. Let me just take a look. Uh, is that the Zealot mission here? No, that is not the Zealot mission. That's, uh... Oh, we're finally on a high enough level to do that. So are we, are we level 9? Is that what level we are? Level 8. Maybe one of your characters is level 9? Maybe. Let me take a look. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, That's why... Nine. Okay. Yeah, so one character's level 9, that's why they're saying... two. Quan's 9, too. Alright, so yeah, Jinx's character's a little bit higher level than ours. Uh, so... so we can finally do that there. one. But yeah, it's gotta be a secondary mission, since we could easily have turned it down. Yeah, it might be the Lord's War. Yep, that's it. So it recommends being level 11 to do this. So we're a little bit behind. Which one's this? Oh yeah, there's also the Rosie mission at the apartments. Oh yeah, we could see if that guy's actually building bombs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of different, a lot of different options here, guys, uh, for next missions. Unfortunately, this is the end of this episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.